Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a duo of my morning skincare routine followed by my daily hair routine. I worked out and then showered, so I decided to share with you what I do for my daytime skincare routine. And today was also hair washing day, so I'm sharing with you guys the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using, all of the styling products, blow dry, curling routine, the whole shebang. I have been meaning especially to share my skincare routine with you guys. I did not do nighttime skincare in this video, but if you guys like this one and want to see my nighttime routine, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you wanna see that one. All of the products that I mentioned in today's video are gonna be listed and linked down below. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Hey guys, so we're gonna jump right in to my morning skincare routine. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna do my hair routine after this, but I worked out this morning, showered, so it's time to do my skincare. Future Casey here. I forgot to share the cleansers that I use. So I've already done all my skincare, but this needs to go in the beginning before the actual routine. I wanted to talk about cleansers. So I have a few different cleansers that I like to use in the morning. And it just, the ones that I use just depends on what my skin needs that day. For the most part, I cleanse with the Tatcha Rice Wash. I'm almost out of this. This is my second bottle, um, so I have repurchased this. But I didn't repurchase it this time, so I'm almost done with this. This is a beautiful cleanser. It feels so good on the skin. It's got a very mild exfoliant. Like it's, I wouldn't even call it an exfoliator because it's so mild, but it's very thick, rich, creamy. I just don't think it's necessary to spend this much on a cleanser for what it provides. But if you're looking to splurge on a luxury facial cleanser, because this doesn't remove makeup or anything, it's just to cleanse then go ahead and try this. But when this is over, I found a really good option that is from the drugstore that I have tried a few times and absolutely love. And it gives similar, almost identical results. And it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Exfoliating Cleanser. This is a gel-based cleanser and it's also got exfoliating beads in it, but it's very, very mild. Gives your skin the same softness, the same hydration, very, very similar. So if you have used the rice wash or you've wanted to try the rice wash, but you just can't bring yourself to spend that much on a mild cleanser, try the Neutrogena Hydro Boost one. This is the one that I'm going to use when this one is all done. If I am having a breakout, like I just finished up that time of the month, so I have a little bit of a breakout going on. This one is also from the drugstore and it is phenomenal. It's gentle but effective, so literally anyone can use it, even my eight-year-old uses this on occasion. So this is the Differin Cleanser. You can find it pretty much anywhere. It is the Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Treatment Daily Deep. It is very mild, but effective, very gentle on the skin. Like I said, my eight year old, yes, he does get a little breakout every now and then because little boys can be messy and dirty and not clean properly. So when he is needing that extra help on his skin, he uses this and he doesn't have any irritation, it doesn't dry you out, but it gets your skin clean and takes care of the acne situation going on. This is amazing, highly recommend. My favorite physical exfoliator is the Lancer Method Polish. It is by far, in a way, my favorite, worth every single penny. I get the oily and congested skin one, even though I don't have oily and congested skin, but I like the extra deep clean feel that I get from this. And I like to use this during the day because I like for my face to be as smooth as possible for makeup application. So I'll use this mid morning after my workout, after my shower or during my shower, I mean, just to get my skin nice and smooth when I need it for makeup purposes and just for smooth skin, you wanna get off those dead skin cells. I know not everyone is down for a physical exfoliator, but this is just my jam. I absolutely love it. So those are the cleansers that I like to use during the day. For toner, I'm starting with this one from Good Molecules. This is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I have been really, really loving this. I have a few products from Good Molecules that 
I really, really enjoy using. So I just put it on one of these really soft cotton squares from Ulta. They are amazing. They're my favorite cotton pads, cotton squares to use if you like the Shiseido ones, but you don't want to spend um, the extra money on those. These are a great dupe. Next, I'm gonna go in with this from Kiehl's. It's the Ferulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. Is it a little excessive to use both this and a toner? Probably, but I really, really love this product. You just pour a little bit of the liquid in your hands and then press it in. I feel like this is just super refreshing and just makes my skin feel super clean and it adds some hydration as well. I use this product morning and night and this bottle has lasted me forever. It's a massive bottle. You only need a little bit because it's literally pure liquid. It feels like water, but it's just really nice and cooling and um, just adds a nice little bit of hydration and glow to your skin. Next, I'm going to go in with my eye cream. This is the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. It is a very rich, thick, creamy, hydrating eye cream. My absolute favorite. I've been using it for years. It wears beautifully under makeup. Your concealer, like if you struggle with dry under eyes, if you struggle with creasing, this is a wonderful eye moisturizer. Your makeup just goes on so smoothly and your concealer wears beautifully over top. Next up, I'm gonna go in with The Ordinary's Niacinamide. Um, I know I have the Niacinamide in my toner, but I also enjoy using it as a serum. The Ordinary has really nice products. Ordinary and Good Molecules, you can find both of them at Ulta and they are both really affordable lines. I have been um, incorporating more affordable products into my routine that I found that I really, really love and um, that have been working great. I am going to do like an affordable drugstore type video with my favorite skincare and beauty products. Next up, I'm taking Charlotte's The Magic Serum. I love this. I just take three little drops. One, two, three. This feels so nice on the skin. Adds so much hydration and just glow. I really love Charlotte's skincare. I'm using a few of her products in today's video. The last serum before my moisturizer is the Pharmacy Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid. I started incorporating hyaluronic acid morning and night. I was just wearing it at night, but Game Changer is wearing it morning and night. I noticed a huge difference, and this one from Pharmacy is amazing. I actually have to take the top off because I can't pump any more out because it's almost completely gone. Is it even gonna come out of here? Hold on, oh yeah, there it is. So um, I use this morning and night. I'm almost out of it. Pharmacy is one of the clean brands at Sephora. And this is a phenomenal hyaluronic acid. I also have a hyaluronic acid from Good Molecules. That is also amazing. Um, I don't do my full on skincare routine as soon as I wake up in the morning. I apply just a few products initially. Like I just put a little bit of water on my face when I first wake up apply a few products and then I wait to do my solid skincare routine until after my workout and morning shower. But I put on a little bit of the hyaluronic acid from Good Molecules and the Good Molecules moisturizer first thing in the morning and both of those are really great as well. So if you're looking for a really good affordable skincare line, definitely check out Good Molecules and The Ordinary. The last step in my morning skincare routine is to moisturize and I'm using two products from Charlotte Tilbury, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and her Collagen Oil. These are just a beautiful combination. I absolutely love the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I have been using it for years. I just take a tiny bit and then I take her Collagen Oil. This is a beautiful face oil. It feels serum-like. Um, and I just take two little drops, 
one, two, and mix that together and apply it all over. It gives you the most glowy, smooth, plump, hydrated skin. Makeup wears beautifully on top. It's like almost like you don't even need a primer because your face is just ready to go. Um, I also use the face oil at night. Oh, just feels so good. I always bring it down my neck. And that is my morning skincare routine. I have been loving this routine and seeing amazing results. I do have a little breakout here because I just completed that time of the month. So I have one little hormonal breakout there, but for the most part, my skin stays really clear, really smooth, really plump and hydrated. Like my Botox has completely worn off, but since using all of these products together and really focusing on moisturizing and hydrating and plumping my skin, I haven't felt the need to run out and get more because I just feel like my skin has been looking really good. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm definitely going to get my Botox redone, but these products really help my skin to stay plump and to keep my fine lines a little bit more hidden and disguised. Um, really great routine. Everything will be listed and linked below. We're going to move on to my hair routine. I like to wash my hair during the day because I like to just have the free time to really do the whole shebang. Wash, style, all of that. I do not want to do that at the end of the day. I like to take a body shower at night, get my kids ready for bed, and then relax. I use a few different shampoos and conditioners, but today specifically I used the Kerastase Blonde Absolute Shampoo and Conditioner. The shampoo is a hydrating shampoo that's great for blondes and I'm not a total complete blonde, but I do have balayage and I want to, you know, take care of it and keep it looking nice for the long term. And then the Blonde Absolute Sika Flash Conditioner, amazing. If you have any kind of blonde in your hair, this is so good. I love Kerastase shampoos and conditioners. I also love a good deep conditioning mask to apply in the shower. And I actually had been trying this one from Amika. It's the Amika Soul Food. I just finished it up today. This came as like one of the little birthday gifts from Sephora and this was really nice. I enjoyed that so I used that on my hair today. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out of this towel. My hair's been drying in that towel for a while. This hair turban or turban towel is by Aquis, A-Q-U-I-S. These are the best. I love these. I got it duo set during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I'm pretty sure they still have that duo set available actually, but these hair towels, game changers. My hair is long. It's also fine, but very dense. So I like to use two leave-in sprays. The first one is the It's a 10. This just happens to be the Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. Um, I ended up purchasing this one because my Ulta was out of the regular original It's a 10 when I needed to repurchase and I literally cannot go without this and I didn't want to drive around and go on the hunt. So I uh, picked up the Keratin one. So I am going to spray this all over. It's just easier for me to part my hair on each side so that uh, I get a nice even layer and then go through the back. And then before brushing out, still, I'm gonna apply another leave-in conditioner. This one is by Gisu. It's the Honey Infused Leave-In Conditioner. This, the hair oil, and the actual deep conditioner that you use in the shower, phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. They make your hair so silky, so smooth. If you deal with tangles or dryness, you definitely gotta try those leave-in products from Gisu. I, um, I have not tried the shampoo and conditioner because surprisingly, the shampoo and conditioner on Sephora have horrible reviews, which is shocking to me because their leave-in products are so amazing. But, you know, maybe they're just a one-pony show. They do really well in the leave-in products and then the, you know, they just don't have a good formula for the shampoo and conditioner i guess i don't know and then i'm going to take a wet brush and start from the bottom and brush my hair out 
this takes a couple of minutes just because I've got a lot of hair and since it's so fine, it does get a little tangly. Once my hair is brushed out, I apply this leave-in from Kerastase. It's the Blonde Absolute Sica Plasme. I don't know. It's just a leave-in serum, you guys. I do two pumps. This helps smooth out the hair, protect the blonde. I do put some in the front because that's where I have a lot or that's where I have my little face framing blonde pieces. Oop. And I just rub that into my ends. I know it may seem like a lot of leave-in products, but it really keeps my hair super hydrated and smooth and just really protects my hair from the heat. And then last, before I blow dry, I take this hair oil from Kerastase. It's the Blonde Absolute hair oil. And I take one pump of this and run it through my hair. Focus on the front because I feel like that's where I'm the most dry or show the most damage is those little front pieces. Sometimes too, if I need it after I blow dry, I'll apply a little bit more of that oil. It's a very nice oil. It's not heavy, doesn't weigh your hair down. It is thick, but like I said, it's not heavy on the hair and doesn't weigh the hair down or anything like that. So once all of my products are in, I am going to blow dry. Now I'm not even going to bother sharing my blow dryer because it's like five years old and they don't sell it anymore. Um, but it's a, it's a GHD, I'm pretty sure blow dryer. Um, but I'm going to blow dry my hair, show you what it looks like once it's all blow dried. And then I think I'm going to curl my hair today. I just finished blow drying my hair and side note, my, um, Blow dryer is by Elkham. It's definitely not by GHD. But um, most days after I blow dry, I honestly just leave it like this. I don't even bother to run a straightener through it because as it settles, it just gets smoother and smoother throughout the day. It's a little fluffy right now, I guess, because I just uh, blow dried it. But yeah, for the most part, I leave it like this because I just want to get on with my day. But it's been a long time since I've really curled my hair and this is hot so I'm going to be careful but I'm using my one inch curling wand from T3 today and the only reason why I'm using such a small barrel today is because I don't really want to bother with my hair the next couple of days and if I curl with this wand specifically my hair stays curled until I wash it next and it'll be tight today but it'll get looser as the days go on. So I'm gonna use that today. Um, I'm gonna start with my heat protection spray. This is the Whey. Um, I love Whey products. Their leave-ins, all of their sprays, their texturizing hairspray is amazing. I just, I really like their products. Since this is a smaller wand, I'm gonna go ahead and section it. Um, for the most part, lately when I've curled my hair, I've used my one and a half inch barrel from T3 and I can just run through that really quickly and curl in five minutes. But since this is a smaller barrel, I am going to section off my hair today. I'm not gonna show you guys the whole shebang because personally I find that to be very boring and repetitive. So I'll curl a little bit here and then I'll show you how I, you know, finish it up towards the end. But yeah, I don't feel like it's necessary to watch me curl my whole head.
just finished curling my hair and I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes, five, 10 minutes so that it cools completely. I don't like to brush it out or do anything like that until it's cooled completely. I feel like that's what really helps the curls to set and to last the longest. So let's wait five minutes for you guys. It's gonna be two seconds. I'm gonna take this wide tooth comb to brush out my hair. It's by The Hair Edit. I got it from Ulta, I think. And I'm just going to gently brush out my curls. And this is what they look like. Looks so good. The T3 World Trio is my favorite curling wand and holds my hair the absolute best. My curls last the longest when I use my T3. I've had it for years. Absolutely love it. Um, to set, I'm gonna use this Moroccan Oil Hairspray. It's the Luminous Hairspray and it is a strong finish. I love this one, um, but it's definitely a strong hold. Like you can feel the hold in it for sure. Um, another one that I like, if you like a hairspray that's gonna hold, but it's more of a touchable, movable finish, the Way Texturizing Hairspray is amazing. So I'm going to spray under and then on top, top, and then oops, under. It's really hard to do this sitting down. Usually I'm standing up in my bathroom. <laughs> A little spray back there. And hair complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this little double feature video with my morning skincare routine and my morning hair care routine. If you guys have any other requests for me, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I'd love to have you and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.